No, Dr. Nami, I don't care how pitifully you look through those iron doors. You can't go outside right now. I know you're just excited about the fact we have a dolphin out there now. And, um, Dr. Nami, is it just me or did our, our fish get bigger? Salmon, you look much larger. You should be paying attention to the fish we have in here, Dr. Nami. See, there's our little guy. We're, I'm going to take care of the water issues. I know you've told me there's some water flow issues. I'm going to attend to them, Dr. Nami. And I know that you desperately want to meet with our albino dolphin, but I'll get that set up for you in the future, okay? For now, I need to trade with you to get some, uh, some coral. I've got another exhibit. Yes, another exhibit. I'm finishing up my snake exhibit, Dr. Nami. Oh. Well, hello, everybody. We are here getting some more gold nuggets. Probably don't need like a ton of gold nuggets, but let's just go ahead and do that. I brought some extra gold just in case. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it with me. I don't want Dr. Nami to steal it. You didn't hear that, Dr. Nami. Don't glare at me like that. All right, let's see. How are you doing today, Dr. Nami? I think I still have some of the blue coral, but let's go ahead and get uh, six sponges just for the sake of it. I want a lot of kelp. Probably didn't need that much kelp. Get several orange coral. Um, let's get lots of pink coral. And, ooh, actually, I wanted a lot of glowing coral. Ah, look at how quickly you're able to take my money, Dr. Nami. How does he do that? Honestly, he's really good at it. I mean, he waves these, <laughs> well, I guess that's not hard. If you end up waving, like, ah, uh, that really isn't that hard with me. Wave a plant in front of my face. I'm afraid. Here, take my money. You have plants? Take my money. That's how this works. That's how you know this works. All right, let's get at least five of those specimens, I think. Oh, see, you already, you already took all my money, Dr. Nami. Ah, what does he do with those gold nuggets, anyway? Probably just sends them back to his village. Look at how fast I went through my gold that way for one exhibit. But you know what? I actually really like that because it feels very authentic. Very authentic and a good challenge, Dr. Nami. Pleasure doing business with you. Please keep an eye on our giant salmon. I'll fix the tanks in a little bit. Ugh, dang it. I was getting so much, like, very good at that. Still have to fix that. I'm working on it. There's our dolphin. Don't worry, Ame is still here. He's just swimming around. Good lord, that fish has gotten big, too. I swear these things grow the longer they stay, like, in the vicinity. I had no clue. All right, and off we go. So we're, oh, there's that handsome horse that I rescued from, from a pit. It appears that he likes to play near giant pits. That's not very smart, you know. Is that a horse down there? Good grief, and a cow! Ugh, oh, we should, you guys are in danger. I'll cover this up later, okay? Honestly. And that's probably not very good for our zoo patrons anyway, if we have giant pits like that just floating around. All right, let's wiggle over here. How you doing, rattlesnakes? They're doing good. Don't know what happened to our scorpion, but maybe one day we'll find out. Tate and Lily are doing great as usual. Hey, you guys want some breakfast? There you go. Nope, Lily, sit again. Stay, good girl. All right, so what we're going to work on next, everybody, is probably the glass. Because the coral, you can take it out and wave it around all you want, but the coral won't go down until you have water flowing on top of it. So that's going to kind of be the challenging part. Oh, look at your little tails. Look at how good, happy little puppies you are. Good dogs. Lily, don't push your brother. There you go. All right, so let's go get the glass panes that we're going to need. Tell me we have glass panes left. Oh good, borderless glass panes, there we go. Let's go ahead, get my personal backpack out. Right now it's just got mining stuff in it. In fact, let's just move that. Don't need the shears right now. I might need the spade actually. Um, everything else probably gonna need at some point, so. All right, next up, putting down the glass panes and then building an infinite water generator inside of there so that it's not a pain in the butt running between that well right there and over here. So, in fact, let's grab. I need one more, one more spot of water, please. Boink, thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this part of the project. Do, 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 do. I'm very excited. So our coral reef snake, that is what we are here for. I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. 
And uh, as one of you pointed out, they're like, I've never heard of a coral reef snake. Well, I'm using the term coral reef snake pretty, pretty loosely. Most people know coral reef snakes as sea snakes. They can go by both names. I've heard coral reef snake more often, but that does bring to mind like a specific species of snake, and that's not actually what I'm referring to. We could be referring to several different kinds of sea snake species. There are about 62, I believe, different sea snake species. Uh, so really, we could be talking about any of them. There. Okay, we're blocked in, guys. Don't panic. And let's see. Now I need to get... I need the water to be still. I need it generating, and I need it still. And that might be a pain in the butt. So let's see. This is just temporary. Oops. I don't need to do that. Okay. Oops. Dang it. What is with my, my block placing today? There. All right, boink, 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 and where's the last one? Boink. You look funny. For some reason, it looks kind of funny today. That's okay. It works. That's the point. All right, and then let's just start from the smallest crevices. Smallest crevices. It begins! We're beginning. Let's see. Can we start putting? Can we start putting our coral in? Yes. No. Nope. Has to be a little higher. I knew that the coral needs, I think, a block above it, or maybe even two blocks above it. So really, this entire thing is going to get filled up with water pretty soon. Might as well start on the far end, way down here. Oh, look at that! The water's dripping through. That's pretty cool. Ah. <sighs> let's see. Let's tuck it over here, over there, over here, over there. Wee! Calm down, guys. No need to worry. This is purposely, uh, purposely being flooded. Okay, that breaks it. What about you? Sweet. Made another little infinite generator right here. Oh man, I wish we had flippers so we could just move normally through the water. This might take a little while. All right, we're gonna come over here. There we go. Whoops. No, I didn't mean to open your backpack. But yes, I'm referring very generally when I say coral reef snake to several, like 62 different species of snake. Basically, they're just aquatic snakes. Snakes that are adapted for a marine environment. That makes them uh, pretty unique. By adapted, they've just evolved so that they have traits that make them very fit for their environment of being in the ocean. They tend to really like to stay, uh, a, even though they, you can find them kind of far out in the ocean, like up to a mile, or 99 miles, so like 100 miles. That's, that's a long way out in the ocean. You can find them out that far, but usually they like to stay in estuaries, uh, along the coast. They really like coral reefs. Oh, dang it. Is the sun going down already? No, sun. It's too early. Uh, I know there's probably faster ways to do this, guys. Um, you're welcome to tell me. I know there are probably faster ways. I just don't know what they may be. You see how that works? All right, we're going to wiggle over here and just, there we go. And you too. And you. And now I need those blocks back, please. Come back, sand. Okay, I think it's working. Sand, 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 sand. Uh, are you working? I can't tell. Maybe. Okay, let's try. You. All right, swim this way. I think the cave's almost full. Bad caves, coral reefs. Those are those are their preferred habitats. You know what? Eh. Back off for just a second, sand <sighs> or water. Can I reach you? Oh, I can. Sweet. What about? Oh, sweet. Look at that. Starting to fill things up a little bit better. A little bit better. I gotta get out of here to sleep real fast. I'll be back! Alright, Tate Lily doing good? Yep, okay, you guys watch this. I'll be right back. Can't believe it got dark so quickly. But yeah, and they're actually, um, I, while looking it up just to double check my facts, I learned quite a bit about coral reef snakes. I was always told that they are highly venomous and exceptionally aggressive, and it turns out that's not the case. They are highly venomous, don't get me wrong on that part, but they are not particularly aggressive snakes. Um, I need some dirt, please. And we're gonna make a little, little staircase. Doink, doink. 
And then the wink. There we go. All right. Look at this. We're getting there. We're getting there. Probably not the most efficient way, and I apologize for any frustration I am causing. And people going, Siri, how could you be doing it that way? Because I don't know any better. That is literally the answer. <laughs> because I just don't know better. Because I am still a Minecraft baby. Did that work? No. Okay. So what we're going to do... Oops. Mm, there we go. But yes, so it turns out that sea snakes are apparently not, like, particularly aggressive. They, uh, where that might have come from is that they are more aggressive when they're on land. That's because they're not well adapted for land anymore. There are some species that are still land dwelling. Uh, no, they, like, will go up on land. They aren't land dwelling, excuse me. Let's see. All right, I need to get over here. Can I... Can I put water along here, please? All right. Can I put water, I guess? Eh, come on. Need to come over here. You really have to like get in here and dig into some of the specifics to make these blocks happy, don't you? Playing with water blocks. I didn't know it'd be so tricky. Do, 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 at least we've got the cave almost full. And we'll crack it open in just a second. In fact, let's do this. Do this. Do and this. Wee! All right. I think it's kind of working, actually. Sweet. I might want to go in there and decorate that now, but I'm kind of excited that the water's working. So we're gonna come over here. Let's see. Nope, that didn't do anything. That did something. I might be about to lose my little infinite whale there. But yeah, so sea snakes, they can't move very well when they get on land. Some species, not all species, but some species will go on land to lay eggs. Most species don't do that. Most species give live birth in the ocean, and they stay in the ocean their entire lives. Uh, they just don't ever have a need to leave because they've got their food, they've got their resources. Hmm. What if I do that? Ooh water blocks being fancy whoa now i'm starting to flood the area man placing all of our coral and stuff is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt but you do need to have i think at least two two tiles Boink. all right let's peek out let's jump out and peek and see what we see also let's fill this up real fast how does that look Dang it, it's still moving. Why are you moving? I don't want you to be moving. I want you to be still. <gasps> no! <laughs> Lily, Tate! Lily, okay, come on, Lily. Teleport to me. Dang it, creepers. Dang it. This is why we need a feline security team, everybody. Okay, there, Lily teleported to me. Good job. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. All right, you guys, come this way. Oh, good grief. Well, at least I have an opportunity to get back in there and try to make still water. Dang it, maybe I need to do more research on still water. Jeez, the creeper explosion got my birds all excited, too. Probably because I screamed. Ah, my limestone. There's, ah, oh, this is just, ah, setback. Definite setback. This is why we're going to have a cat. We're going to get ocelots and we're going to breed them and we're going to put cats like at each entrance of the snake exhibit. We're going to have cats everywhere. You guys have no clue. It's going to be like cat security team at each checkpoint, making sure nobody's up to any funny business. All right, where's my, where's my chisel? Chisel. What? Where's my chisel? No, it wouldn't be in there. What is this nonsense? I demand a chisel. Where's my iron? Ugh. I can't believe... This is just silly. This is just silly gooseness. I'm trying to be all scientific and tell you guys about, like, sea snakes. Which, by the way, only have one nice long lung. It's a very long lung that stretches throughout most of their body. It helps them uh, to get air for dives. Because they can go underwater a nice long time. And it also helps them 
to stay buoyant. And by buoyant, that means to float. So when they need to have a little bit of floating ability to swim in the sea, they can just fill their nice little long lung up. It's thought that the air at the front is more for gas exchange and the, uh, the, the back part of the lung, the rear part of the lung, is more for um, the buoyancy. There we go. Look at this mess. Man, why couldn't it be just a few feet like over? And I guess that's the danger of having put my all my eggs in one basket when it comes to... Wait, scooch. There we go. When it comes to having built on top of a meteor site right there. But there's lots of meteor sites and I just... Ugh, gracious. I'd consider this a water feature if it wasn't a hazard. Our snake cannot stay safe if it's going to like swim straight out of its little enclosure. So let's get this just closed off. Why don't we? Come on. Work with me here. Work with me here, Glass. Nope, 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 nope. Don't work with me to the point where I get sent into the meteor spot, please. Oh, boy. <laughs> dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. But yes, did you guys know that some snakes only have one lung? Some snakes have two. Some snakes even have three. But, uh, like, two lungs is not a universal thing for all animals. So don't get that too confused. A little, little biology fact for you guys today. Okay, that's it. I'm just going to have to cover this, this puppy up first because I can't even. I'm wasting glass, and I hate wasting glass because that means having to get more sand. Look at you two just wagging your tails. I really should get creeper. I, Lily, do you want to do you want to be my creeper guard warning dog? So from now on, when there's creeper problems, you can growl at least. A little bit of warning would be better than absolutely no warning, darling. <sighs> okay, and then we're gonna get in here. Get it. Just, there we go. Okay, this is so much harder. Dang it! At least if I just leave it there, I can't make the same mistake. Phew! Well, that's a little better. We still have running water, though, and that's not good. I don't think. I don't know how these things are supposed to work. I'm trying. Put the glass up there. Huh. Gonna have to make more glass. I mean, that, like, totally took out a whole chunk. There. Well, fixed. All right. Well, let's do something fun. We, we earned, after that cataclysm, we earned being able to put down some of these plants. So we've got our kelp. Let's get out a really fun one. Let's put some of the glowing coral inside of that cave. And some of the orange coral, the kelp. I think we'll save the sponge and the pink coral for out here more. All right, this is going to be a little bit annoying, but we can do it. Okay, let's put glowing coral. Can we put you there? What about, ooh, look at that. Look at how nice that looks. Dang. Can't believe, can I put one like in here? Oh, I'm drowning, dang it. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. No. No. Ah. How humiliating. I am embarrassed. Survive a creeper explosion only to drown because I'm too busy putting down pretty coral. That looks a freaking amazing in there. Oh, hey. Don't mind if I do. Hey, rest of my stuff. You want to come to me? Man, I forgot how cool being magnetic can be sometimes. Just like, whoosh, and all your stuff is back to you. Except my levels. Boo. Alright, well, that probably wasn't a good place to put that last glowing coral, so we'll move it. But it does look excellent in there. I'm very pleased with that. Alright, let's scooch all these out. And see if I can... Hmm. Okay, we'll move quick. There's a kelp piece. Here's a kelp piece. I wish I could put coral up there. That's so annoying. There's an orange piece. There's an orange piece. Come here. Come here. There's a pink piece. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Drink. Jeez. How embarrassing. Drowning in my own tank. I wonder how that looks. Let's go check that out. We might put more corals in the cave and then put more kelp elsewhere. Oh, look at that. That's just beautiful. I just have to... I'll figure out the running water issue. Unless that's supposed to do that. I'm not sure. 
I mean, look at that. That looks great. Oh, that's so cool. I think I know what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to make that, that spot kind of open up into the water anyway. So we can probably put the glowing coral up there. I can make that work. Lily Tate. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll upgrade them in a second so they can at least growl. Look at that chicken. Is that a reptile chicken? Laying eggs up in that tree? Smart chicken, staying out of way of the snakes. Man, creepers and drowning. How embarrassing. <laughs> but we're getting work done on the exhibit. It's so exciting. And you guys know about coral, right? Coral is, excuse you. What does he think he's doing? He better be dead by now. No, no. This is not a day spa for skeletons. This is a scientific exhibit. Get out of here. Little jerk. What does he think he's trying to pull? He's not fooling nobody. All right, let's see. Oh, where's my... What? He shot me in the back of the head. Ugh, rude. Rude, rude, rude. Okay, I think this should do it. Was it right over here then? Trying to find, ah, there it is. There's that, that coral piece that I want to lift up by one by opening it up to the water. I forgot I had wanted to do that, like make this part kind of open up to the water a little bit because the water is going to come up here and then we can just let it kind of come along here but leave the rest of this untouched. So let's go ahead and knock that down and then where is my sand? There's my sand. There's the glowing. Push that up. Boom. Yes. I think that's going to look really nice. Oh, that does look really nice. That looks just beautiful. I love it. This is going to be a really excellent exhibit. Let's put another coral piece right here. And then we can like tuck a sponge over here. This is going to turn out just fine. Definitely going to be a little bit of work. I got to play around with the water, figure out how the heck to, to place water and if I'm doing it right. All right, come on. I wish I had flippers. Whoops. Oh, I forgot. We can't put it right up against because if you put it straight up against, then you get this weird effect and we don't want that. Weird effect against the glass. How do I get so many raw fish? Tate! Tate, were you fishing raw fish out of the, the waterfall, the creeper waterfall? That is so something he would do because he's such a silly boy. Oh, hey, we could use these sponges because there's those kinds of blocks to help push the water around. Noted. See, we can put sponges down without having to worry about anything. Boom. Take that. Take that, fussy water. Boom. There we go. This is so fun. More, more kelp. Can I put more kelp? Too bad we can't put kelp right up against the front, but that'll be okay. So, yep, see, I can put kelp there, but not here. So you need two water blocks before it'll behave itself, it looks like. Yeah, we'll put kelp here and I'll put, can I put, can I put more water like right here? And now will you go down? Whoops, well, I didn't want you to go down, Mr. Sponge. Nope, okay, what about if I added one more water block? And then, yep, and then it goes down. So experiment proven. Let's wiggle over here and let's check our halfway progress on this tank. Oh yeah. Look at this. Nice. Nice. This is great. We need to go get the blue coral that I still have in my box. But this is great. I think we're doing good. Okay. Well, I'm going to, you silly, you silly doggies, you silly good doggies, silly good doggies. I'm going to go grab that blue coral. I'm going to make sure I'm doing the right thing when it comes to the water. I think I might, do I need to buy any more coral? No, I think we're good. And then, yeah, I mean, really, other than this, and then a little bit of decoration up there, it's just adding in our snake. So that's pretty exciting. All right, guys, we'll be right back to finish up the, the rest of this exhibit and tell you a little bit more about the awesomeness that is sea snakes. So I'll see you in just a minute, guys. Bye-bye.